You can come up if you want. Up, up. Come on. Good job. Hey everybody and welcome back to More Than Just a Dog. This is Maya. I'm her person, Kayla, and today we're showing you how I train Maya's go to a cone behavior, which is important for anybody who wants to compete in Rally Master. So if that's you, let's get started. The go to cone behavior is used in signs 306, 307, and 308 in Rally Master classes. Though the ending of these exercises look a tad different, the send to the cone is always the same. So this technique is applicable for all three signs. In teaching Maya this behavior, I decided to use this PVC shape, which I call her sit box. I've used it throughout her entire obedience and rally career to help teach her where or how to sit in different circumstances. If your dog has a designated platform or box that they've used to sit in the past, then you can use it for this too. Make sure you place the cone next to it in such a way so that when you're facing the box, the cone is nearest the lower right hand corner. Step one, start with your dog in heel position on your left hand side about one foot diagonally away from the cone. Use a treat if necessary and lure your dog around the cone and have them sit in or on their box or platform. Repeat this step as many times as necessary. Very good. Okay, very good. Step number two. Once your dog is confidently completing the task with a lure, it's time to up the challenge. Instead of luring, make a similar gesture with your hand and expect them to find their sit box. If they can do that, then not only is it time to move on to the next step, but it's also time to add a verbal cue. I use the word loop, but I've also heard other rally competitors use the word cone, go, and away. You can use any verbal you want, as long as it's the same every single time. Step number three, take one step backwards. Now, instead of fully luring your dog, use your hand signal and or verbal cue from the new distance. If they miss their box, that's okay. Stay positive and encourage them to try again. Nice job. This is also the point at which I'll start returning all the way around the dog. In competition, you can return directly to heel position or you can go around your dog into heel position before moving on. So it's good to practice that step occasionally too. Step number four. When your dog is finding their box from a couple feet away, move back another foot and then another. In rally competition, you need to send your dog to a cone from six feet away. So once they can do this behavior from that distance, it's time to level up again. Step number five, remove the sit box and then make the game easier. When you change the behavior from sit in your box next to a cone to sit without your box next to a cone, some dogs may regress or slide backwards in their learning. That can be frustrating for you and sometimes them too. So to counteract it, you can make the game easier by starting close to the cone again. Yes. Step number six, they won't be at step five for very long since your dog already has a foundation for the behavior. Once your dog shows you that they understand what you're asking for again, take another step or two backwards slowly over and over again until you reach six feet. Good job. Step number seven, you're almost there. To really make sure that your dog understands the behavior, ask for a couple other rally behaviors like spinning to the left or pivoting 360 degrees, for example, and then send your dog to the cone. If they can mix and match with other behaviors and still be successful, then they've demonstrated an understanding of the go to a cone behavior. So congratulations. Can't wait to see you at the next rally trials. Over the cone. <laughs> yeah, very good. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today on More Than Just a Dog. If you have any questions about this behavior or if you have any suggestions as to what sign we should demonstrate next, leave those questions or suggestions in the comment box below. I'll be happy to try to check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to let me know. And if you wanna see more content like this, all you have to do is hit subscribe and ring the bell. That way you get alerted every single time we post a new video. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining us for this one. Hope you liked it and pass it on. See ya.